Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a great day and I hope to make your day even better with this yoga practice. We are going to stretch and tone and strengthen the entire body. Plus, we're going to work on relieving stress and anxiety and completely unwinding. So let's get started. So let's go onto our hands and knees and we're going to stretch back in a child's pose, taking some nice deep breaths. Allow the back to get long, relaxing through the thighs and the glutes. Just exhale out any stress you're feeling. Try to empty out your mind. We'll walk our hands over to one side, leaning into one hip. Good, enjoying that stretch through the side part of the body. Let's go to the center and to the other side. Taking some big healthy breaths in and some big sighs out. Clearing the lungs, clearing the mind. And now moving back to center. Sink back into those heels. Just breathing it through. Good. All right, so now let's press those fingers down, thumbs down. We're going to go into a nice stretch. Into an upward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Let's go back into a child's pose. Breathing in, hips pull down, open through the shoulders and chest, shoulders pull down, exhale down, just warming up the spine, stretching through the back, inhale, chest down, on open, exhale, child's pose back. Last time, inhale, expand through the chest, exhale, sink back into the heels. Good. All right, so now preparing for downward facing dog. We're going to get the wrists underneath the shoulders, press the fingers, thumbs and palms down, lift that tailbone up. So tailbone's reaching up, heels are pulling down. Don't worry if they're not able to touch the mat. The back is nice and long. Try not to round through the lower back and arms are framing the ears. Some easy, smooth breaths. And now from here, walking the feet forward. And we're going to bend those legs really deep, placing the belly on the thighs and drop the head down, hugging the legs in, in ragdoll. Just allowing those back muscles to release, dropping the head down. And now strong core muscles firing up the thighs, the abs, the glutes, reach those arms up. Exhale, relax the arms down. Good. Let's move into a sun salutation now. So feet rooted down. Engaging those abs and thighs. Inhale the arms up, volcano pose. Exhale, let's go into a forward fold. Good. Inhale, hands to the shin, extended forward bend. Back is really long. Exhale, back into our downward facing dog. Palms and fingers pressing down and into plank we go. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale into cobra. So hips are down in cobra. Exhale down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, back to that downward facing dog. Inhale, let's step forward for extended forward bend. Exhale, forward bend. Bend nice and deep. Strong core, reach right up. Exhale, slowly release it down. Good. So stepping that left leg back, hips facing forward. We're gonna have the right foot facing to the side, left foot facing forward. Lead with that right shoulder into triangle pose we go. Stacking the shoulders and the hips, if you can, looking up, but if it bothers your neck, you can look forward or down. And you want a little micro bend in that right leg, making sure you're not putting pressure on the joint. We're gonna inhale, turn the right foot forward, exhale, arms come up, hands to heart center. Let's do the left leg, pivoting the left leg to the side, inhale, exhale, down we go, getting long and open. Breathe it through. Inhales, bringing new energy into the body. Exhales, getting rid of anything that no longer serves you. Inhale, arms go down and palms together. Let's step the foot forward, back to a flow. Inhale, exhale, down we go. Into a sun salutation. Inhale, this one we're gonna add a few extra steps. Let's exhale, take that left foot back Drop that left knee and reach the arms up. Anjanyasana, low lunge, inhale, and now exhale, add a twist. Hips are still twisting from the waist up. We're gonna inhale, arms go back up. Exhale into high lunge, breathing in, breathing out into plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga, and up we go in cobra, down into plank, 
and a downward facing dog. Stepping forward with our inhale, extended forward bend, exhale forward bend, bend deep, firing up those thighs, stretch up, exhale, we're going back down again. We're now stepping back, inhale, and exhale, stepping back with that right foot, left leg is bending, left knee above the ankle, arms reach up in Anjaneyasana, and now adding the twist, good. Right arm to the left knee, reach those arms back up, healthy breath in, exhale, arms go down, high lunge, stepping back plank, and we have our Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, exhale down, inhale into plank, and then exhale, down dog. Good, let's step forward, extended forward bend, exhale, dropping the head in forward bend. Bend deeply, reach those arms up, and release down. All right, let's step that left foot back, and we're gonna bend that right leg. Now moving into extended side angle, bend knee above the ankle, Let's get that right forearm down, left shoulder pulls back, and then reach the arm right by the ear. Beautiful stretch down the side of the body and opening through the front part of the body, through the shoulders and the hips. Smooth, easy breath. Now with your next exhale, let's circle that right arm around. You may need to step your left foot forward slightly and moving into crescent lunge. Dropping the tailbone, but lifting out of the hips. All those back muscles are lengthening. And now we're gonna inhale, straighten that right leg, fingers to the ears, elbows wide, and exhale, let's pull that left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. So getting a twist through the belly and stretching all the back muscles. So if you can, the heel stays lifted. Back to our crescent lunge, and now release down. Let's step forward and forward bend. Good, releasing right down. Don't worry if you have to bend the legs to get the hands down. Now walking the hands over to one foot. So getting a little more stretch, the IT band area, so the outside of the right leg, and then we're gonna walk our hands to the outside of the right foot, and you'll feel a little more stretch in the outside of your left leg. Good, back to the center, bend nice and deep. Chair pose, palms together. Squeezing the thighs, a great core strengthening and core toning pose. Rounding through the lower back, lining up those knees, keep that breath steady and smooth. Good, and now exhale, release down. And we're gonna take a big step back with that left leg. And let's revisit extended side angle bend, same side. So that right leg is bending, left leg extended, left arm reaches up. Good, breathe it through. And now we're gonna straighten that right leg, pull that left heel in. And now let's go into goddess pose. We're gonna bend deep, knees above the ankles and keeping that tailbone tucked under. Imagine you're right up against the wall. Arms nice and long, shoulders pulling down. Good, inhale, exhale, breathing in, palms together. Let's go to the other side. So pivoting that left foot to the side now. Bend nice and deep, knee above the ankle, left forearm down and open through the shoulders and hips. And now extend that right arm up and enjoy. Inhales, bringing new energy into the body, new breath. Exhales, get rid of anything that no longer serves you, anything that's weighing you down. And now when you're ready to exhale again, let's go into our crescent lunge. You may need to step that right foot forward. So crescent, the crescent lunge, the, the, the heel is lifted, the back heel is lifted, but you could always do this with the foot down. It becomes a warrior one. And now extending that left leg, keep that tailbone tucked under, open through the shoulders and chest. Get the back muscles long, shoulders pulling down, and add a twist. Good right shoulder pulling forward, left shoulder pulling back. And twists are really good to squeeze out any, any toxins to the abdominal organs. We're gonna reach up into that crescent lunge again, and exhale, down we go. Stepping forward, let's go back to that forward bend, drop the head down, weight over the arches of the feet, and now bend deep, 
Line up those knees, palms together, rounding through the back. Good, and now we're gonna add a twist. So we're in chair pose. Really important we keep those knees lined up, twisting from the waist up. So that left shoulder is pulling up to the ceiling and a good squeeze through the belly also helps to boost up our, our metabolism. So it gets those digestive organs working better and helps to trim through the belly. Now exhale back into forward bend. Take a breath. Good, let's bend deeply again. Make sure those knees are lined up, strong thighs and abs. And we're twisting to the other side. Now left elbow to that right knee. Right shoulder pulling up, stretching all those back muscles. Good, just breathing it through. Inhale, exhale, forward bend, Uttanasana. Good, all right. Let's step that right foot back, left leg bending. And a nice side stretch, extended side angle bend. Breathing it through. And now coming up, let's go back to goddess. So now that right heel turns in and we're gonna bend nice and deep again. Knees line up with the ankles. And now if you can, going right onto the toes, a little more challenging. You can always stay on the heels if that's better for you. And let's take the arms down and we're gonna cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Squeeze the tummy, good. And now arms come back up. You got it, stretch those legs up. Exhale, arms go down, inhale, palms together. Good, here we go, let's go into a flow. We're gonna inhale, exhale down, inhale right up, exhale down. Breathing in, arms reach up, and breathing out, forward bend. Inhale, hands to the shin, extended forward bend. Exhale, we're stepping back in our down dog, inhale, Exhale into plank. Good, let's get that right leg over the left leg. Chaturanga, one leg chaturanga. Into cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, back into plank, but now left leg over right leg. Down we go, chaturanga. Inhale into cobra, upward dog. Exhale, inhale into plank. Exhale, down dog. Taking a nice deep breath, inhale, and now exhale. See if we can jump forward. A little different than stepping forward. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, stretch those arms up. Exhale, release down, good. Okay, so now with our right leg, a variation of hand to knee pose, we're gonna take that right knee up and pull the shoulders down and back. Open through the chest, great for strengthening our core. Good, and now taking that right leg back and we're gonna slightly bend that left knee. Inhale the arms up, exhale jet arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So this is a little different than warrior three. We're not pulling forward, we're keeping the chest lifted. And now inhale, right knee comes up, exhale, eagle pose. So right leg over left leg, but left arm over right. Rounding through the lower back, Bending nice and deep. If you like that, right foot could be lifted or you can leave it down for extra balance. Keep squeezing the arms together, squeezing those thighs. Elbows aligned with the shoulders. Good, and now we're gonna inhale, exhale, arms go down. Let's try it with our left leg. Inhale, arms up, clasping the hands behind the back. See if you can get that left knee at a 90 degree angle to the body, flexing that left foot opening through our chest. And now we're gonna take that leg back with our exhale. So now that right knee is bending and jet arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Back leg is extended in airplane pose. Good, and now inhale, we're gonna kick that left knee up, left knee over the right, right elbow over the left. Bend deeply, Garandasana Eagle Pose. Breathe it through, strengthening our core, stretching through the hips and the shoulders, through the thighs and arms. Good. And now inhale, the knee comes up, exhale, arms go down, well done. And hands to heart center. Let's reach those arms out, exhale, down we go, forward fold. 
Take a breath here and now bend really deep, revisiting Ragdoll, placing the belly on the thighs. We're just gonna fold the arms now, hanging from those hips. And now let's walk those feet back, down dog. If you like walking it out, one heel down and then the other. Good. Let's move into our plank, Chaturanga, into Cobra, and we're going to inhale, chin up, exhale, chin down. So just remember, keep those elbows slightly bent and shoulders away from the ears. Chin right to the chest to stimulate the thyroid, and then exhale, down we go. And now into a well-deserved break in child's pose, Balasana. If you like, arms at your sides for relaxed child's pose. Just breathe it through. So we worked hard in our standing postures, heating the body up, doing some good twists for the, the internal and abdominal organs, strengthening our core. Now we're just going to take a few breaths, slow down the heart, cool the body down. All right, so let's come up now. And we're going to go right down onto our tummy and let's try a back bend. We're going to go into locust pose. Clasping the hands behind the back, pull the shoulders off the mat. Neck is long. Let's get the right leg up and now the left. Keep your hips down on the mat. Beautiful full body stretch to the shoulders, the chest, upper and mid back. And now fingers to the ears, elbows wide. We're going to exhale, legs down, chest down, inhale, chest and legs lifted. Inhale up, exhale down. Breathing in full body stretch. And now jet arms breathing out. Hold, you can have the chin up or chin down. And releasing down in crocodile pose. Completely relax. Taking some nice deep breaths. Relax the legs to the glutes, down the back. And now let's sink right back into a child's pose. Back to Balasana. And keeping that left arm extended, tucking the right arm underneath the left arm. Thread the needle in child's pose, back to full child's pose. And now the left arm goes underneath the right arm. A little more of a stretch to the shoulders and upper mid back. Back to child's pose. Good. And then from here, we're going to extend those legs, Upavishta Konasana. Flexing the feet, bending forward from the hips, and just release down. If you find you're rounding through the lower back, just bend those legs. You want to bend from the hips, not the lower back. We'll walk our hands over to one leg, and that top arm reaches up. Both sitting bones are rooted down. Let's get the arm down. Back to the center we go. And enjoy the stretch. Enjoy where you're at. Feel your body unwinding. Relax through the mind, walking the hands over to the other leg, top arm reaches up, both sitting bones are down, arm goes back down, and back to the center again. Walking the hands up, and now we'll take the feet together, knees apart, making a diamond shape with the legs, and then stretching forward, relaxing the head down towards the feet, and enjoy. Allow the back muscles to release the hips the buttocks through the groin, inner thighs, all relaxing. And now let's come up and we're gonna pull those heels right in and we're gonna go into flower pose. Hands are underneath the shoulders, we'll look to the right and then to the left. Now if this bothers your tailbone, just take the feet down. And now if you're able to, palms together with those feet lifted, working our core, challenging our core, Good, and now pull those heels right in into butterfly pose. So heels are right towards the pelvis now. So this is a deeper stretch than our turtle pose we just did. Coming right up, and now let's release right down. Again, if you can, those heels stay close to the pelvis. We're gonna have the arms down, palms up, knees out to the side. And let's do some deep belly breathing. Inhale, the belly expands. Exhale, the belly drops. That's breathing in and out through our diaphragm. It's a very healthy way to breathe, relieve stress and anxiety, and boosts our body's immune system. Allow all that healing and healthy oxygen to flood the body. 
going through our lungs, through our nervous system, through all of our cells and muscles, renewing and repairing, leaving everything healthy and whole. With every exhale, feeling lighter, healthier, calmer, and at peace. Good, and now from here, we'll pull the knees together, hugging the legs, a gentle rock from side to side, opening the eyes. Let's go into fetal position. Take a breath, and then we're moving up into seated position. We'll take the palms together, inhale and exhale. Breathing in and breathing out. Final time, we'll do big sigh out. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. Take care.